Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. Today I want to bring you some tutorials and maybe some my career. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, I can also show off some things in the city also. So we do have next gen officially out, but the neighborhood is still dead. You know, everybody has to go through Rookieville and apparently you can't play with friends on Rookieville. So when I get my PS5, I have to do that all over again. But if you want to see a few tutorials for next gen, let me know what you want to see on um, 300 likes. Now spamming up, I appreciate you all showing love. So in this video, we're going over the Gatorade facility and trying to see what drills are the best to do. Long story short, it doesn't change that much from PS4 and Xbox One. Um, you wanna come in and start with the treadmill, get to about 130 or 40 meters, and you'll get four stars. Now, a lot of people are seeing four stars over three stars, but do not worry about that. As long as you get three stars on every drill, you'll be able to get the complete Gatorade workout. So next up, we have the battle ropes. Um, the battle ropes are still easy to do, and that's what this video is about. The easiest drills, in my opinion. So on the treadmill, you're just pressing the triggers. On the battle ropes, up and down on the left and right stick, pause on that pause on that but you get the point you know what i mean um really simple so we're going to talk about at the end of this video how the gatorade training is different from xbox one and ps4 because they changed it a little bit but one thing i do like about the gatorade facility is that if you go upstairs you're able to rent out courts and yes i mean literally it costs vc not a lot but I still think that it's dope that they're looking out for the wager scene a little bit. But to be honest, if you have five and you still want to play private pro-am, pick up tens, whatever you call them, um, the pro-am arena is still there and you can still play private matchmaking. So you see me being an idiot, bro. I cannot figure out how to get on a damn botch jump. Man, the mat was right there. So next up, we had a botch jump. And just like on last gen, you will only be able to max out at 12 and get three stars. I don't know how you get four stars on a box jump. I don't even know if it's possible, but for a lot of people, they hate this drill. But for me, I don't know. I like it because once again, you, you pressing down, then up on the left stick over and over again. And that's all you have to do. And honestly, they made it easy too. You know what I mean? You don't have to get 12 to max out this drill. I believe it's only like 10. So if you get 11 or 12, that's four stars. Even if you only get three stars, that still counts towards the complete Gatorade workout, which is dope to me. Next up, we have the dumbbell drill. Now the dumbbell drill is really easy to do. Um, it's in the corner of the Gatorade facility. When you walk in, just go left and keep going left until you see the wall and you will find the dumbbells. But all you gotta do is spam A and press the triggers. Or if you're on PlayStation, spam X and press the triggers. But really simple drill, um, really easy three or four stars, depending on how locked you are. Uh, it should be a simple four stars, but you never know, man. So that's four easy drills that you can do in the Gatorade facility. After this dumbbell drill, we have one more that we can knock out and get that perfect Gatorade completion. So like I said, this isn't too different from last gen. The actual process isn't but the rewards are a little bit different, I believe. And a lot of people wanna know ladders or hurdles. Personally, I like the hurdles more. All you have to do is take your time and you'll get three or four stars. It's really easy to do. You're just moving the left or right stick, the direction they tell you to move it. And as long as you take your time, you should be good. Now you see, I got the slides on, bro. If my player is doing this in slides, it's simple. Then I got the mask on too, black T gold chain. That, that's such a me outfit, bro. <laughs> For real. If I'm going to the store or something, that's what you see me in. But on 2K, we can slide to the Gatorade facility in the black T gold chain in the slides. So yeah, I like the hurdles way more than the ladder. I don't know what it is about the ladder, bro, but I don't know. Like maybe I'm getting old, bro. Maybe my reflexes aren't where they used to be. But I don't know, cause I'm a dog at duty, so. I don't know, I don't mess with them ladders, but you see, we're gonna get uh, three stars here. Not four, but three stars. And like I said, as long as you get plus three on every drill, it counts. So let's get it, man. Um, You see three stars on the first drill and then four stars on everything else. Gatorade Turbo Boost applied. Now, what does that mean? So we get an extra bar of stamina, which is cool. 
but I wanted to see if we still got plus four on the physicals. And from what I see, we actually don't. And don't worry, I fried this build. You know what I mean? My PlayStation 5 build is gonna be better. But yeah, we don't get plus four, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but if you buy Gatorade and then do the Gatorade workouts, you get that double bar of stamina. And that's really what you need for all my dribble heads out there, for all my people that like to shoot, dunk, that stamina is so important. So those are the easiest drills to do, in my opinion. Um, as always, stay safe. I hope you're enjoying next gen if you got an Xbox. If you're getting PS5, be sure to keep this video in mind for sure. You all be easy. Peace.